Hello, my name is Mert. And my name is Sergio. Today, we are going to explain you what is flow and what is flow rate and how can we calculate this flow rate. At first, we shall start with the definition of flow and flow rate. Actually, you might hear them because they are related to fluid things like liquids, gases, plasmas and some plastic solids. The flow is the action of moving along in a steady stream and the flow rate of a liquid is how much liquid passes through an area in a given time. Flow rate can be expressed in either times of cross-sectional area and velocity or volume and time. Because liquids are incompressible, the rate of flow into an area must equal the rate of flow out of an area. This is known as the equation of continuity. For example, we can calculate and explain how much water flows in a river or how much liquid passes in a wire or pipe. Sounds boring, we know. But knowing flow and flow rate is crucial for humanity. We are using them everywhere in our lives. For example, we can calculate how much water we consumed in our homes. Or we can also ascertain how quickly we can extinguish the fire adjusting the flow rate of water from a hose. And what are these fluids? Let's look at this. The fluids have no shape, so they take the shape of the containers in which they flow as a result of their ability to flow. These are liquids, gases, plasmas and to some extent plastic solids. We know plastic solids look like real solids but when we heat them, to some extent, they become fluids and thus they flow. Now, how can we calculate the flow rate? Let's assume that fluid flows in a pipe. So, firstly we should calculate the pipe diameter. As you can see, square root of 4 times flow rate over pi times velocity gives us pipe diameter. If we know at least two of them, we can calculate the other one. And also on the right hand side, we can see that flow rate is equal to volume over time. It means flow rate is flowing volume of fluid per time. As we said, flow rate is the amount of fluid flowing in the given time. It is expressed in gallons per meter of liters per meter. Q equals the flowing area times flowing velocity. Let's look at a problem. In 60 minutes, a water tank's volume increases by 4200 gallons. So, what is the flow rate of water filling the tank? From the formula, flow rate equals the volume per time. It means 4200 gallons per 60 minutes gives us the flow rate of water which is 70 gallons per minute. Volume flow rate is simply the rate which a volume of fluid flows through a closed container, like a pipe. As the cross-sectional area of pipe changes, the speed of fluid flow changes. As you can see in the formula, the first area times first velocity is equal to last area times last velocity. So, let's look at the example. Water travels through a hose 0.8 meters per second. If the cross-sectional area of the exit nozzle is one-fifth that of the hose, at what speed does water exit the hose? From using the equation of continuity, first area times first velocity of fluid is equal to second area times second velocity. From the question, we know that second area is one-fifth of first area, and the first velocity is 0 0.8 meters per second. With this all information, we can calculate the second velocity as 4 meter per second. Also, we can calculate how much water flows in a river from this information. Thank you for watching us. Have a nice day.